Hello. Got some questions. If you grew up in the Evangelical Church or Bible Believing Church, and uh, just some things to ask you. Did anyone ever warn you about the reality and danger of hell and why to avoid that? Did anyone ever speak about hell and what saving faith is about? Not just fire insurance, getting away from hell, but trusting in Jesus, finding yourself on the way to be with him forever. But did anyone ever warn you, first of all, about the reality of hell? And second, did you ever hear about the reality and danger of the demonic and your responsibility to avoid getting enticed and caught up in that? Anything that would lead to that? And not saying that you necessarily had to see deliverances happening in front of you or people talking all about the enemy, but just simply telling you that demonic is real, demons are real, and there's real danger if you go into their territory. Did you ever hear anything about that? Three, did you ever hear about the danger of the occult and why to avoid it? Did anyone say anything? about tarot cards, astrology, Ouija boards, going to mediums and seances, channeling, etc. Anyone say anything about that? Why to avoid that? Again, the reality is it is a first uh, direct path to the demonic. Did anyone warn you about that? Four. Did anyone tell you about, yeah, Christians are going to be persecuted if you want to live Godly in this life, there's going to be persecution there. You're not necessarily going to be popular, but how to respond in a godly way. I think it's responsible to know that so you don't backslide when people give you a tough time by being Christian when they're not Christians. So that's number four. And number five, the reality of suffering and affliction in this world that, yeah, we're not going to have a bed of roses from once we come to saving faith until we go to be with Jesus and how to respond in a godly way to suffering and affliction in this world. Has anyone spoken about these five things to you? And some uh, several four final questions. Did you really hear a clear and consistent call to saving faith? If I were to ask you right now whether you know for certain that you're going to heaven and why you know you're going to heaven. Could you give me a clear answer according to scripture? Not just according to what the Bible says, according to your having appropriated the Bible solution come to saving faith. Next, are you able to articulate, tell someone else about how to come to saving faith? We call it sharing the gospel and witnessing. Can you do that? Do you know enough of the word to be able to lead someone else to saving faith? In the church, were you ever told about your responsibility to love other believers as Christ has loved you? That's his new commandment which he gives us. You find that all throughout the New Testament. Were you told about how to forgive others as Christ has forgiven you too? Have you heard that? Last, were you ever told about what it means to be filled with the Spirit and walk with the Spirit? So, if you're thinking about these things right now, all these questions I've asked you, and maybe you're, you could have been around listening to church teachings, you know, maybe sitting in the back pews with your friends and uh, looking at your phone, etc. But maybe you, these things never really caught a hold of you and let you know what it means to be a believer who's loving and following Jesus Christ, experiencing the life which he came to give us. He said, I've come to give them life and give that more abundantly. So I'm not trying to accuse you in any way, but simply ask you these questions. Maybe there are things which need to be remedied in what you've heard, what you paid attention to, and what you know from the word. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. And God bless you. I hope that you get into his word and sure to find out any areas in which you really haven't come to know the fullness of what it means to be a believer in this world.